Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, I'm actually very excited to do this. So I thought what I would do is, I'm filming this on Saturday. I'm gonna upload it to Patreon uh, when I'm finished shooting it and get it uploaded. And uh, tomorrow it'll be the super fun Sunday. But um, I, I, you know, I was trying to think of something to do tomorrow um, for super fun Sunday. And I was like, well, it would be fun to do like a Halloween related um, video. Um, so, I got all of these images off of an Instagram called creep underscore your underscore socks underscore off. So you can find all of these images on there. They have over 3,000 uploads on their site. Some are photography, a lot of them. I was kind of looking for like um, comic, comic book horror, but as I started looking at the um, actual, their Instagram page, I was like, you know, this is all actually really fun stuff. And for artists, um, this will give you a lot of ideas. I think just compositionally speaking, you know, some of the photo bashing that goes along, classic black and white photography. I mean, it's like, we're almost like taking a deep dive. They're, they're, um, I wish I could remember what uh, they, their quote is for their site, but it's, it's like vintage horror, it's pop culture, it's, um, you know, just really fun stuff. And so, um, yeah, I've got a bunch open. We're going to look at them. Um, I'm hoping that I can get in contact with Kelsey between now and next Sunday. And I would love to have him come back and do um, a Halloween super fun Sunday with me uh, live because next Sunday is actually Halloween. So we'll see. I Again, I haven't talked to him in like seven weeks. So... Um, uh, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't promise anything. But anyway, so... Um, in terms of crediting the artists and the different sort of origins from these photos and art, I'm not going to be able to do it very well, I'll be honest. So, you know, if you want to cross-reference stuff, I mean, you can obviously go to their Instagram and, and see if you can track down the particular image and figure it out. And then in the comment section, people can get interactive. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's go full screen and just start looking at all the stuff. This is cool. Like, I mean, this it, to me looks like it's a, I mean, it could be a painting. The The painters back in the day were really, really good. Um, if not, I mean, it's definitely sort of a mixed media thing. I think this is a painting. I really do. Um, and it's really done well. I, I mean, it, it could partially be a photo. I kind of don't think it is, though. I was debating when I was looking at it. Um, but some people may know what, like, I don't actually recognize what movie this is from, so so I'm not sure. It, it's funny, because this guy looks like a cross between Nick Cave and Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> she kind of looks familiar. I kept going, like, wow, like, what is this from? But, that, like, her hair looks real. So I don't know on this one, but anyway, let's just keep going. So these were interesting. These, these look like some sort of, like, evil Catwoman. And um, she's fighting really unusual villains. There's like three in a row, but um, I mean, obviously these guys are like some sort of Nazi cult. I don't even, <laughs> I don't know. It's funny though, but I actually really enjoy old, old vintage um, pulp, uh, you know, stuff like this. I mean, I think it's really, really fun and uh, just a, just a cool piece. And again, you know, the nice thing is, is like, like um, I have a patron named Steven um, and Steven does kind of vintage vintage stuff like this and, and you know seeing images like this and how they render the um costume and stuff like that could really come in handy and and these old uh like villain designs are pretty funny but like you know this has got to be like world war ii era stuff like i would assume i mean you got hitler and i can't think of who this is but you, i've seen this type of guy in like a lot of comics but um yeah anyway it's funny. I don't know who this character is. Like, um, it's just like, I have no idea. <laughs> is it Catwoman? <laughs> I really don't know. Anyway, here she is. She still has the cape. I was like, oh, she doesn't have the cape here, but she does. I, I actually really like the way that they're rendering the costume. You know, like the lighting on it and the shadows, I think is actually quite neat. I love, uh, it's funny because um, these shoes, they always remind me of... Um, like Norman Rockwell in artists, like comic book artists use these shoes too, depending on the era that you do. All right, so let's check out this. This is kind of a small piece, it's a nice little painting. Like the colors a lot, very muted, you know, nothing is like a like a real, like, like super saturated color, but it's a beautiful little painting and uh, a fun piece, you know? It was funny as, as all the images were open, opening in photoshop i was kind of trying to think of some sort of intro oh and what's it gonna be it's gonna be super fun but 
you know everyone had this kid in either your middle school, elementary school, or high school. And he was the Fangoria kid. And he usually was a stoner. He usually would have some sort of monster magazines in his backpack. And he kind of turns you on to this stuff. Who knows? Maybe you were that kid. I wasn't. But uh, I could always seek them out. It was like a sixth sense that I had. Some people see dead people. I can find stoners that have cool stuff in their backpack. Like art magazines. <laughs> and then I befriend them. <laughs> this is cool. I like this piece. Um, she's She's attractive. And also quite scary. Like the chandelier. This guy's very handsome. He's like... Um, the, it's a shame that the serial fix this for us. <laughs> Wait, is it gonna work? I, I just want to get his nose so that it's not so. Uh... Yeah, he's a good looking. He's a good looking bloke, as they say in New Old Britain. <laughs> oh man, this is such fun stuff. Kirk Hammett would like this video. Rob Zombie, John Five, who else? Carrie King. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. I like that. And she's kind of a creepy sort of um, pea soup green. The Smiling Woman. All right, let's go. Ooh, what is this? I like this too. <laughs> Even when they're crudely drawn, and I'm not saying this is crudely drawn, but but um, like... I, I, I like I, I'm on Tumblr, although I don't ever post on Tumblr, but, um, you know, like, like I just follow like random people and some people like will post like lots of stuff like this. And there is sort of an interesting charm and sort of creativity that this stuff has and, you know, can take these ideas and really sort of run with them. I love the chair with like the vulture on it or whatever it is, or maybe, it, I don't know, it's, it, the way it's colored, it doesn't seem like it's part of the chair, like it's actually like a bird maybe in the room, but I don't know, that could not be mistaken too. I like the lamp also, actually. Yeah, it's fun. What do you want of me, shadow brother? <laughs> I wish I had a shadow brother. All right, some femme fatale with a gun. We'll to cruise past that one here she is again <clears throat> Ooh, look at this damn this is fire man i would hang this up in my office i love this so this is black cat mystery what a great piece wow this could be like a gig poster for like the melvins <laughs> like a halloween show rocket from the crypt man that is really really great damn i love this I told you this was going to be fun. I bet some people had their doubts. They're like, I don't know, Rich. This one's a stretch. You've got your wheelhouse. This might not be it. No, I'm a big horror guy. Always. It's just fun. Man, that is great. I love this. What a neat piece. I like how he did the sky. Actually, let me lighten it just the tiniest bit so we can see it. It won't be as scary, but you see all the rendering in the sky? That's actually really cool. Yeah, this is a fantastic drawing on, on all accounts, and she's very pretty. Her hair is cool. Her dress is nicely done. The zombies are great. Robert Kirkman would like this, too. Bobby, if you're out there, what's up? Ooh, look at this. This is awesome, too. I like this. And see, and this is the thing, too, is you have to understand, not, not that that would be a, a decision-making factor for these videos, is I really do, on Patreon, you know, I've got usually teeters around 300 people, and, and when I give lessons and reviews, it's a lot of different styles. People are drawing in really, really creative ways um, and just going down different paths and stuff like that. And, you know, you, you might do one review and someone kind of draws like this. You know, it's very stripped down. It's very kind of direct and in your face. It might be, you know, manga influenced or toth influenced. And, um, you know, then the next person is like surreal and very detailed and stuff. This is nice. It doesn't really feel exactly like horror to me. It needs one creepy element. Even if you if you had like one like sort of zom zombie like hiding in the tree or something. You know, like, that would make it creepy, where you're like, oh, shit. She's, like, dancing at the moon, and some creepy dude is coming to get her. But I don't see anything scary on this one. I'm like, am I missing, like, a skull in the tree or something? Looks like Iron Maiden Eddie right there. <laughs> see? <laughs> like, Eddie's in the moon. That's what it is. All right, let's go. C come on, friends. We got lots to do. Ooh, I like this, too. Man, this is great. 
the other day I was watching, um, it was a few weekends ago, I put on some walkthroughs of Disneyland, like the Pirates of the Caribbean, right? There's some people that are super hardcore, like Disney people, and um, they, they basically analyze the whole ride. It's really interesting, and they talk about the paintings and all these Easter eggs and stuff that are involved in it. It's actually quite interesting, so... Yes, I'm that nerdy. <laughs> Proud to be it, to be honest. Ah, this is really cute. It, it reminds me a little of like, it would be like, Ooh, what is this? Damn, oh, this is a cool photo. So that's why I was saying is that even the photos that they have are actually quite nice. And, you know, like for, for our artist friends, I'm going to darken this so we can see the contrast on the zombie guy a little bit more. For people interested in painting or digital coloring and stuff like that, you know, I mean, although subtle values are actually harder to control, but that's a nice little photo. So I think I feel like I've seen this before. So far, I would honestly say that I, I don't I don't recognize any of the pieces I've seen before. And I don't honestly think that I've seen this before. I've just seen things similar. People will be able to name what this is from, I bet. It looks like an animated, like, either show or um, maybe a movie. Probably show. The house is more detailed, it's like, than, than what I, I would think it. So, got the creepy hand, some fancy old lady. Oh, look, the smiling woman is back. No, no, ha, ha, ha. Look at this. Oh my god. Right. Ooh. This is cool. Man. Wow. Oh, that's crazy. I like how he's coming out of the shadows, and even the fact that this guy is literally almost all coming out of the black. Just a little bit of the top of his jacket is showing. It's quite cool. Oh wow. This is neat. I don't want to, like, I was, I, I think this might be Big Ben, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I drew Big Ben one time, but I don't, I, like, I, maybe this is the London Bridge. I drew Big Ben for a um, Iron Maiden cover that I did. Cover or pinup, I can't remember what it was, but I, I, I drew Big Ben in it. And one of those old phone books. Ooh, I like this a lot. The colors are great. Nothing says creepy horror art than that sort of terra green, neon green, and uh, purple. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Satan Stradivarius, or Stradivari, Stradivari, so, featuring. I didn't even know Satan had the Stradivarius. Oh, this is awesome. I'm trying to figure out what this dude's playing. This guy's on the drums. Oh, man, this is the timpani. <laughs> oh, my God, that's that dude from the other photo. Oh, American Werewolf in London. Oh, I love this movie. The Slaughtered Lamb. They sell this as, a, like, you can get it as a print and hang it up outside your house just to let people know they need to be uh, careful. All right. Ooh. put the fangs on this old lady it looks like the the bulgy eyed dude <laughs> give her like the like um terror incorporated like <laughs> oh she's out of the screen oh wait hold on oh, yeah, she was there all right enough of that nonsense rich stop it go 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 Ooh. He's writing. <laughs> He's like, note to self, get more cat food. <laughs> okay, this could be the guy that actually posts all the art. I'm not sure. That's cool. Man, my dad took me to see Nosferatu, the like, non, I don't even know what you call it, like subtitled one when I was like a little kid. <clears throat> oh man, that was scary. <laughs> he took me to see Alien when I was a kid too. That fucked me up. I, um, 
I'll, I'll tell a funny story about it. So, I'm trying to think if it was Star Wars. I think it was Star Wars. So, I went to see Star Wars in the movie theater. Yes, I'm that old. Um, and um, the tr one of the trailers before Star Wars was for Close Encounters, and that scared the shit out of me. I was, I was scared for, like, the first half hour of Star Wars. It freaked me out so much. That scene with the door, the, all the orange light, and the kid, I was like, dude, this is it. They're telling me through the movies that the aliens are coming to kill me. But I made it through. <laughs> I like this a lot. Wow, what a great... That's really, really cool. I love this. I can't log right here. It's nice. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff going on in that picture. This reminds me of the hallway in um, Devil May Cry. The first game with that creepy clown music and you have to go through the doors. But it's kind of... It's got a little bit of a vibe of those hallways. Oh, man. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> that's really interesting <laughs> like this is what computers used to look like this could be a foot pedal for a guitar rig now it's just a big one look he's dancing oh i like this this is like a creepy ride fun And we got this dude. All right. All right. This looks more contemporary to me. That's cool. Well, it's the same piece. Maybe a detail or an, a different. No, it's the same piece. This is cool. This has a little bit of like that kind of 70s storybook sort of vibe. It could be done earlier, though. It could be in like the 60s or even earlier. But um, yeah, like some of the... Um, Shel Silverstein, Richard Scarry. Um, oh, who's the other guy? Ed, Ed Gorey, I think is his name. That's cool. They always got the best like actresses. They always had like such expressive eyes and these very like angelic faces. Here we go. What does he have? Raffle tickets? No. <laughs> He's like, here, take some raffle tickets. They're really fun. I'm selling them for my Cub Scouts. No, I know it's mummy wrap. You have to correct me. This is cool. I haven't drawn a sarcophagus yet. No. Oh, wow. This looks like the same artist as Boar. This is great. <clears throat> wow. That's really, really cool. Yeah, this is cool. I like this a lot. Those little derby hats are nice. Oh, shit. I wonder, so I wonder if this is like concept art for um, the Haunted Mansion. It probably isn't, but maybe it is. That's weird. So this is like the thing that's kind of right out in front. Maybe it is. I should know my Disney uh, better. Uh, I don't know. She had bobby pins coming out of her head. She'd look a little bit like the witch. I don't know what, what her name is. The one from the um, Chuck Jones Bugs Bunny cartoons. Hopefully she's in here. I, I like that I like that cartoon. These are nice. These are nice little drawings, man. You know, sometimes stuff like this, believe it or not, you can find it on Heritage. And, and it sometimes can go for pretty cheap. Surprisingly cheap. I've seen some really good stuff where I'm like, man, that's a steal for such a cool little drawing. And they're kind of interesting, you know, but sometimes the artists just aren't known. I'm not saying that this particular one is that way. Yes, yeah, so this has got to be, because this is um, Caesar and the, I don't know, Antoinette or something like that. But yeah, this is definitely Haunted Mansion. Cleopatra, I think, is in this room, too, if I'm not mistaken. Man, it's cool. It's kind of a flip of actually how it is. And the thing, I, I want to say, uh, hold A. Um, I th think in the actual ride. Oh, no, we're looking at it from a different angle, I think. That's cool, though. Man. All right, here we go. Is this Sherry Moon Zombie? 
If it was a Rob Zombie poster, it would be. Just kidding. Vampire. Danzig would like this, too. <clears throat> there you go. That's pretty fun. Unlike human housemates. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize it was a robot. Uh, I didn't, did any of you guys watch the Love Death Robots, like the second one? There was one animated thing where this lady had all this futuristic stuff in her house, and one of them started to want to kill her. It was pretty... It was okay. Well, the first um, collection of animated films I thought was um, a little funner. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Wow, that's really cool. Be a fun picture. Ooh, look at this. Murder had a little lamb. Oh, there it is. Hello, would you like me to kill you? All right, what do we got here? This looks like Magnus Robot Fighter. Maybe it is. <laughs> I didn't put it together. I was just, this pose looked like Magnus, um, but he is fighting a robot. So who knows? Maybe I was right, and I didn't even realize it. All right, let's go. Oh, look at this. Jaws was another scary movie. I tell people, if you were around when Jaws came out, that movie messed you up. You were scared to get in any water. <laughs> this is cool. I like this, actually. But again, this is one of those like kind of out-of-the-box ideas that you might be able to use for something else. You know, Maybe it's a Galactus piece with multiple silver surfers all over him. Who knows? This is cool. Looks like a, a Valentine's Day card that went off the rails. <laughs> Phillips? What is this? Like an Afro Phillips? Ghost Night Out. Oh, that's uh, what's her face? Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. The cat's cool. Ghost Night Out. 13 ghosts. Ooh, look at this. That's scary. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Zezo. Who says? Zezo says. There we go. Leave the dishes. It's time to go. Shh. Whispers. Want to wake up the world? Oh my god. <laughs> so, like, you know, some of these will go through quick, obviously. So this is kind of interesting. It reminds me a little of, um... Like some of the Bucky O'Hare sort of art. I don't, I mean, it's not golden, but that's from that other thing. That's kind of cool. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's old school. Run! Run for it! Oh my god. Alright. Let's keep going. Hmm. I'm trying to see what the horror element might be on this. The macabre. Maybe they're eating human flesh. Oh, look at this. <clears throat> I really like old sci fi um, ship design, how primitive it is. It's in some ways, I always find it more disturbing. The alien's kind of interesting. I mean, it looks a little f friendly, but it's, there's some cool stuff going on with it. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so this might be from that same story. The colors look the same. This is a nice drawing. This guy's got a lot of energy. I love the... This guy's really cool looking. So this must have been like a children's book or something with, with the witches, like... Just counting witches. <laughs> Be interesting if aliens actually did look like that. <laughs> it's like, surprise, they didn't look like what we thought. It was just like weird. <laughs> it's like a big eye and a starfish. That would be so funny. 
I hope in my lifetime aliens invade. <laughs> Just so I could say I was there. <laughs> Keep it. Oh, oh what I do? Oh, there. Sorry. This is kind of interesting. I like it. It's got almost like a German sort of feel to it. Like a German film poster kind of vibe. <clears throat> ah, it's nice. Man, that's great. Really, really cool drawing. The the skeleton is actually quite quite nicely done. It's some like the vertebrae and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Yep, I like it. Whoa, God. Oh man, here we go. So this is Bernard Bailey. It looks like this is a pretty cool piece, man. Tales of the Future. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I like the um, suction cups on the sides of their arms. Actually, graphics color, it's a little easier to show stuff. But yeah, so this is a cool piece. This guy is like, seen better days. They're a little tore up. Ta-da! There we go, what's this? I like the lighting on the cauldron. Oh, what's she putting in there? Witch's Brew. Miles Davis did a twist on that title. <laughs> For all you um, jazz jazzers out there, Postmaster Warren. Oh, I think I've seen this cartoon. The, the would be ironic if this is the like the first piece of all these that I actually am familiar with. But I feel like I've seen this. That's funny. I wonder if this is the smiling lady. recognize that oh this is nice okay so this is yeah this is like adam's family stuff right man this stuff is so cool i never knew that this was like i, I mean i only knew it i mean i was introduced to it by like the tv show and so i never realized for a long time that it was actually like um i don't know like illustrated books or whatever it was but yeah i, I had no idea but the artist is great it's cool it looks digital Oh, <laughs> it's kind of a funny gag. Oh, that's great. Wow, what a, that's a really cool piece. I like this a lot. Man, that's awesome. All right, let's get going. Ooh. More Adam's family. Hmm. Oh man, that's great. Ooh, what is this all about? The creature looks like he doesn't want to be found. He's like, no, go away, human. I'm doing ghoul stuff. Oh, look at this. This is like some sort of French maybe movie poster or something. I don't know. I guess it's a like they might be short stories with just like some art. Um, man, that's really, really kick-ass. I wonder what year this is. 1902. Damn. This dude was cutting edge for 1902. A good concept artist could take this idea and do something pretty badass with it now. You're welcome. <laughs> no. But yeah, that, that's actually really fun. I'll have these guys driving around and blast their kid. <laughs> I keep, you know, I might, I might be able to squeeze them in. Let's see if room for these dudes at some point maybe Harry Mills it almost looks like her one foot's all bloody I think it's just like the printing but oh yeah that's what I'm talking about what is she in front of I thought it was like an organ or something but this just looks like some sort of I don't know what it is. you better be scared lady oh my gosh those old school, I don't know. I'm not sure what this was used for, but it reminds me of like a pulp cover. It's nicely painted. I think it's good. The, the haunted house is cool. Let's take a little closer look at the design of it. 
so I guess you go up the path here. I like to see if there's, or you know what, these could be the stairs here, actually. I think that that's what it is. This is just a window. The, the stairs are up here. But I try to see the functionality of houses again because I do reviews and lessons and stuff like that. I have to use some critical thinking when I look. Oh, and there's also steps here, though, actually. So it looks like there's two entrances to the house, which isn't uncommon. Um, but uh, yeah, just because sometimes what will happen is people will um, draw something like this. Uh, but the people don't fit in the house. They're too small. They're too big. Or you know what I mean. Like you'll have someone standing in front of the house, and it's like, picture them inside the house. They're they're too big. They're, they're not gonna like. There's no headroom, so it's not a huge deal. I mean, it's it's art. We should be able to go. So this is a cute photo. There he is. I know him from the rat video. No. <laughs> Look at this guy. I like him. He's he's fun too. I think Ozzy would hang him on the Blizzard of Oz tour. <laughs> Doing a lot of old school references today. There we go. It's Lucille Ball and Ricky. Right? That's kind of interesting. I like this. The cat is not really working for me, but I, I think this this is really cool. This building too, isn't it neat? But yeah, the cat's a little. Oh man, this is awesome! Wow, what a cool drawing. This looks like it's off of a comic cover or something, but man, it's really cool. So again, the Instagram is called Creep Your Socks Off, and. Uh, I think well worth following, you know. If they post like daily little things like this, be fun, you know. It's better than some stuff that you might follow. Fight the future. <laughs> <coughs> no chill like the touch of the hand. Steven. So this might have been Creep Show. Looks like he's in the makeup room for Creep Show. There was a movie that Chevy Chase did around the time of Creep Show that was called Modern Problems, and he gets covered in like nuclear waste. And I don't really remember much more of the movie, but it's like I don't know why. When I think of Creep Show, because of the green glowing um, stuff that Stephen King deals with, um, it reminds me of that. This is a really nice drawing. Damn, man, that's cool. Here we go. That's nice. Oh, look at him. He's, I've never seen anyone approach strumming from the, the bottom. This guy's a rebel. I love Scooby-Doo. Oh my God. A son of ghoul. I don't recognize this. So this is a what old timer monster movie maker becomes a prime suspect stream star. I don't remember this particular episode. Where's Shaggy? Scooby, where's Shaggy? Where'd he go? The Cursed Cottage. Hit the road, buddy. There we go. The, pa the painting technique on this is actually very cool. Un silencio de tumba. There we go. Man, he was handsome. Look at this guy. Never looked that good a day in my life. It's weird because these almost start to look like Christopher Lee, Christopher Lee to me. It was trippy. I was like, wait, did they like, this is, they pulling a fast running? Oh man, he looks so cool right there too. This is great. He had such an awesome voice too. There we go. Panico. Amor fatal. This almost looks like, um, Right, like this reminds me of some of the, like, fire and ice, whatever the sort of rotoscope looking stuff, but it probably isn't, because this looks very drawn. The sky can clearly dry. It's got real nice hands, and just everything is, everything is clicking. You can tell when someone can draw. There's always a tell. That's the thing. 
artists, most artists that are pretty far along, there's a balance to their stuff. They're not going to slip up on things. So it's kind of cool. Oh, man. <laughs> I saw this in the thumbnails and I thought it was underwater. I didn't realize what it was. This is funny. Wow. That's really, really hysterical. What a funny idea. Oh, look at this. Is that a real shark? I can't even tell. There we go. Take that, lady. Oh, man, look at that. Holy crap, that thing is creepy. The only thing that kind of blows it for me is the legs, because they look a little too human. I mean, obviously, it's a person in costume, but... Yeah, if they could have done just a little something with um, this area, man, that thing is actually pretty wild looking. I'm covering like the bottom with my hand. His his face looks a little like a puppy. I mean, I see that it's a hollow with like teeth and this, but um, you know, if you gave him like droopy ears, he sort of just looks like a puppy puppy face. But it's pretty creepy. Look at this. What is going on with his hand? Is it going up her dress? Or is it just like... He has a hoof? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm not seeing... What is this going to... Oh, okay. Well, let me rotate it because of... Uh... I actually really like that the font. Or the lettering they used there is nice. Okay, more sharks. More sharks. This dude's like, he looks like Vincent Price, actually. It's funny, look. His face looks like Vincent Price. I like he's blasting the shark with his belt. And this guy's too. They're probably lights, actually, but uh, I'm going to pretend it's some sort of laser beam. <laughs> there we go. She's feeding the shark now. So this looks like it's maybe um, uh, a model, because that, I don't know, the eye doesn't look real to me. Oh, she's feeding it. Maybe it's like a nurse shark or something like that. I'm not sure. Oh, it's cool. The lighting on him and the colors are actually really, really neat. An aquascope and he's oh, okay. So if these, if this is the poster for those photos, then probably, I mean, it could be a real shark, but it might be a um, something. Man, that's cool. I saw this too. Is so I don't know if this is the original book cover for um, Jaws, but if it is, it's actually a pretty neat design. And the white is actually very, very cool. That's it's that's really well done. <clears throat> Whoever designed that, it was I like it a lot. Muy bueno. Oh, look at this. A mutant killer. <laughs> the dog is scary because he's got emo hair. <laughs> look at this. This is all kinds of craziness. I really like this right here. I think it looks really good. It starts to lose me. Like, the shark's form gets kind of funky. This is really, really nice right here. I'm guessing this is 20,000 leagues under the sea. I, I mean, it's just a guess. I don't, I don't, I've never seen it. But um, and this is all very, very badass. But, yeah, just this one. The, it's a shame because the big shark, he's he's just having trouble because the shark's body is so round um, that, like, it gets, it's, like, just off. You really not, <clears throat> not, I don't know, I don't want to get into the whole drawing thing, but it's like you really wouldn't see as much of the spin and stuff like that, so it's, it just looks weird. And it's so white, too, in the middle of the composition, it kind of hurts it. This is nice. Really, really great painting technique used here. And the piece is, is cool. Tint Torera. Now, I'm not sure if this is maybe Jaws in another country. <clears throat> it might be, might not be. Could just be like a ripoff of it. But, uh, yeah, the painting technique on this is great. Okay, that's creepy. What do we got here? Is this real? I can't even tell. Oh, they're, like, mannequins. Man, those are super, super scary looking. That's cool. That's yeah, kind of interesting. There we go. Slee stack. Her face. I loved I love this stuff. 
it was Sigmund the Sea Monster. There, there was a few, few winners in this era. I actually have this on DVD. I got the DVD set. People taste better who have tasted cheese whiz. <clears throat> well, you can't argue with Dracula. Oh man, this is great. Look at this. I've seen this piece before. In fact, I, I feel like a long time ago I did this in a video. Believe it or not, two or three years ago, I definitely have have shown this. I remember talking about it. I don't remember what the circumstances were. It could have just been... Maybe it sold on Heritage. I had the file. But yeah, I've definitely seen this. So this is the first one that I'm sure that I've seen before. I kind of like that. I like the idea. There's some funky stuff going on, but... Oh, man. <laughs> there you go. That's the kid right here. All he needs is dark sunglasses and a doobie. <laughs> Yo, man, you want to come to my house and check out my Fangoria or Famous Monsters collection? It's like, let's go. This is cool. I really like this. This is nice too. Frazetta did that one um, piece that's got the like crashed ship. It's kind of nice. Oh man, this is cool. Dancing in front of spaceships. Black magic spells and other neat weird stuff. Wish you were here. Oh, this is a cool little drawing. Damn. So this is Jack Davis. This is nice. Really, really nice. This in particular is really cool. Man. What a great little shot. Yeah, that's nice. Jack Davis was a badass, man. He was such a good artist. Oh, this is cool, too. This is Johnny Craig. I like this. This is nice. Really cool colors, too. Yeah. That's nice. Really, really great drawing. Yeah. Hits all the notes. There you go. Take that, little girl. Ooh, look at this. John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness. Damn. Love the green. And this, too, this vortex opening up above him is awesome. I missed the perspective on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Damn. What a great painting. What's cool, too, is that this is pre-Photoshop. Look, you got these beautiful sort of, like, flares around the candles. It's nice. Ooh, I like the lighting. The Ruger has them yesterday. <laughs> All of my friends that actually can read this are like roll, rolling in their their symbolic graves, although they're alive. Slay's in big trouble. She ain't getting away from this guy too fast and that thing on grass. <laughs> like he's coming out of the swamp. There's like a light here they placed under the water. I guess it's supposed to be her lamp. I guess maybe laying in the water. Feels to me more like this is under the water. This is actually a stage set. Is the, her light is lighting in here. And I like he's got a pink skirt on, too. It's a nice touch. Here we go. What's this? Sex after death. All right. All right. Ooh, look at this. Interesting. Oh, Peter Lorre. <laughs> wow. I guess this was a theater uh, set up. Or something like that. It kind of looks like it. Man, that's really cool. Who knows? Maybe that exists in some warehouse. Kirk Hammett might own it. You never know. The Killer Clams of Alpha 7. <laughs> it's like we finally got to a planet with water. Oh no, there's Killer Clams. Which, theoretically, I'm sure in like the dinosaur era, there's probably some huge-ass clams. Maybe not, but I don't know. I believe that there could be. Everything was bigger back then. Goblin food, spooky corner. 
I remember these things. They probably still sell them, but. Heart drops. They, man, they made, Bella, they made Bella Lugosi sell everything. Made with human blood. <laughs> How did it completely disappear and never be found? All right. This looks like it could be like from a Stephen King novel. Right, the Dracula. Oh, this is cool. I like this. I'm going to check my clock really quick. So it's 11. I'll go like 10 more minutes. Like I said, my hope is that... Uh, oh, this is Neil Adams. It's got to be. I don't recognize the piece, but uh, this looks like Neil. Um, yeah, hopefully, Kelsey, if I can get in touch with him and talk him into doing um, a live show for Halloween, that would be fun. That's a nice drawing. There we go. That was Vincent. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, I like this a lot. Damn, this is great. Wow, what a cool piece. This is awesome. <sighs> the cat's pose is actually really cool. He's kind of turning a little bit. Like they do, they'll sort of like sort of twist their body when they get like scared. Those little subtle things are nice. This is a really, really cool piece. Man, it's great. Oh, it's funny. Elliot Gould. <laughs> what is this? I've never even heard of this. The Anchorman's dead, but he's making a comeback. Elliot Gould and Dead Men Don't Die. Wow. It kind of looks funny. It probably sucks. Maybe it doesn't, but I don't know. I would check this out. I've never heard of this movie. Oh, man. That looks real. That's, like, real creepy. It's like you could bring your um, dead uncle <laughs> along on the ride. Del Terror. Okay. This is nice. I like this. Oh, man. We're already done? All right. Hold on. Let's do this. I'm going to open some more. I want to do... I Like I said, I want to do, like, ten more minutes. Let's just... It doesn't really matter where we grab them as long as I don't grab the same shit. So let's... let's um, Let's grab from here to here. I don't think this is still going to No, okay, we should be good. All right, open. Don't peek ahead, guys. You're going to spoil it. Close your eyes just for a second. I'll tell you when you can look. Don't peek. Oh, now it's doing Photoshop's giving you um, the hidden version of the upload. Probably won't get through all of these, but if they're if they're kind of more, more mundane, I'll, I might skip them faster. All right, so let's get back in full screen. I like this. Actually, this little Dr. Death inset panel I think is quite nice. This is cool. But you'd be amazed, you know, watching a video like this or going through a bunch of art like this, it really will give you a lot of ideas. You may not notice it right away, but at some point you may be drawing something and all of a sudden you'll recall one of these pieces. And many times, I believe it or not, because I've had this happen, you'll remember a piece that you saw, but in your mind you've actually remembered it kind of cooler than it actually is. And so if you don't cross-reference the piece, um, a lot of times your, your inspiration you know you actually add a lot to it um and a lot of times uh, you know i've gone and actually found sort of what i was thinking i was like i remember i saw that one horror piece of the girl on the ship and you find it and you go oh you know what like the way that i remembered in my mind was actually like kind of a better layout so it's all it's all good to do believe it or not this is cool I like the action that's taking place in the crystal ball. It's actually quite nice. It doesn't, it's not curving a lot. It's very flat, um, but uh, it's still, it's still pretty cool. Wow. I like this a lot. That's got some real nice depth to it. This is very, very cool. Shit. <clears throat> Gore kill. <laughs> Like, we're going to call the monster Kill. They're like, can you make it more scary? They're, How about Gore Kill? They're like, perfect. Dude, that is so awesome. <laughs> Uh-oh. This looks like King Diamond. <laughs> Give him a little mustache. And, uh, there. There, it's King Diamond. It's like, come on, I'm going to sing songs for you. All right. I don't know what that is. I should probably. Uh, actually, if I go back and see it, I might go, oh, duh, come on. You should have known that. This is interesting. 
1952. See, now this isn't scary to me. Unless they're driving through piranhas. I Feldstein. Okay. I like that. I wonder what those books are. Those are some big ass books right here. I'd be very curious of what those are. I know this is like a stage, probably like a prop for a movie or something like that, but they may have actually gotten real old books. It's possible. I'm like, and I'm not really sure what this is from originally, but uh, um, yeah, I'd be very, very curious what these books are. This is nice. I like the bread. Uh, drawings are okay, but it's, it's kind of a fun idea. I think the red is what's selling me on it. <laughs> Alice Cooper? I don't know. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. We've had King Diamond and, and Alice Cooper show up just in, in a few panels. The Mad Mamba, right? Tales. Tales of Uncanny Mystery. I get anxiety about having anxiety. If only you know, kind of, it looks like a Jack Kirby drawing. Um, yeah, if only you knew. 20, 2020 turned it all upside down. This is nice, man. I like that a lot. Oops. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ah, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Old people are funny just because they're old. Ooh, look at this. Okay, the thing from outer space. Uh, I, yeah, you know, I saw this in the thumbnails. This is kind of interesting. This feels like a Robert Crumb drawing. <clears throat> it may not be, but it, it's. I mean, I don't recognize it as a Crumb piece, but uh, some of this. It, I mean. It, could be a, one of anyone. I don't know. Cr I've never seen Crumb really work exactly like this with color and stuff. But uh, it's a neat little drawing. It's one. This is like shit you would draw in like your uh, notebook or something at school when you're bored in class. This is a Dracula piece. Movie poster, I guess. It's kind of interesting. It's Bioshock. <laughs> The Walking Dead. Take a walk with The Walking Dead. Busted, Kirkman. Busted. You're done. I'm reporting you to Eric Stevenson. The Web of the Spider. The Tower of Death. This is a nice piece, actually. I kind of like it. It's funny because it all feels like the same artist, and then this feels kind of like a different level of like sort of realism like because this girl's face is i mean it's a cartoony slash but her too they, they sort of feel more similar he's more of like a caricature a little bit like his head is sort of misshapen and stuff like that but so, yeah. this is cool Start hustling. The, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Basil Wolverton. I know that name. It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. Surprise, you look funny. <laughs> oh, man, look at this. It's kind of cool. It's very dark. The devil is like super, like the printing or something. Man, pulled them real, real dark. It's hard to see. It's actually, I like the piece though. Oh yeah, here we go. That's nice. Marvel. <laughs> Ta -da. Oh man, look at this. This is a great photo. Jeez. 
Oh, that's really, really cool. Gosh, I love this. That's that's probably one of my favorite, like, for sure photos that I've seen through this batch. This is really, really neat. Man, that's nice. Bam! Space action. It's funny that this ended up being such a trope for these types of pieces. It was just like the rocket that sort of like lands perfectly upright, like on the planet. Comic tropes. Should be a YouTube channel. <laughs> it's the creepy haunted house. This is nice. Wow, those are cool. There's she again. It's funny that that's the first repetitive piece that we've seen. It's an odd one for them to like decide to re-up. Unless it has some sort of symbolic meaning that I don't understand. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm a meatball. Ice. Oh, okay. And a matter of grave concern. All right. Oh, looks like the little shop of horrors. I don't think it is. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I like they have champagne and the like. Why is the pistol smoking? Oh, because he killed the guy. I get it. This is is this Wally Wood? This seems like a Wally Wood thing. Oh wait, hold on. I can't read the guy's name. It looks like it says Richard Friend. It's like our friend. Just kidding. I snuck this one and I didn't know. It's it's cool though. I like this. <laughs> it's not cool to kill someone and steal their girlfriend and throw the person in space. That's not what I meant when I said cool. <clears throat> it's like a watermelon fish plant. Nightmare. I don't know about nightmare. This is like fantasy material We've got attractive flower ladies trying to kill you meow whoa why is the cat it, now if the cat had like <laughs> nan it works there you go this is pretty cool painting actually there's some nice stuff going on here all this is really great. Oh my god, his head's off. Alright, so we're going to start wrapping it up. I think we've overstayed our welcome. So anyway, alright, have a great day. Happy Halloween. I'll be back next Sunday regardless. I'll try to come up with something. I, I honestly, when I visualized what this might be, initially I was almost thinking of like, grabbing what I consider some some nice comic book horror just like like hand selected by me um and then actually grabbing like some concept art and just some of the more powerful horrific images that I've seen um you know like in a fun way not grotesque um over the last like few years there's a few artists that uh, really do great like dark stuff you know um, and uh, it would be fun to do so but that takes a lot of work it took me 45 minutes to prepare to do this video and I mean, you know, I didn't even really do much. So there's actually more work involved in this than you might imagine. So all right, you guys have a great day. Have a super fun Sunday. And um, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And uh, I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.